One of the most commonly asked questions that I get when it comes to applying for multiple credit cards for the bonuses and the benefits is how often can I apply for credit cards from the same issuer and still get approved or still get the bonus? I mean, you might have heard of certain credit card rules out there like the 524 rule here and there, but that's an American thing. What about up here in Canada? What are the key rules that you need to know among the different issuers that we have over here? We're gonna run through those rules one by one in this video. If that sounds good to you, if you've been enjoying the content on this channel, or if you just think this desk looks hella stately, then go ahead and hit the like button down below just as the video is starting out right now. That really helps the video's performance here on YouTube. And with that out of the way, let's get started. Let's start with the big five banks here in Canada, and then later on in the video, we'll get to the other issuers like American Express, MBNA, and HSBC. Among the big five banks, TD and its 12-month rule is perhaps the most well-known. TD will allow you to get one welcome bonus on each account within a 12-month period. And if it has been at least 12 months since you last got the welcome bonus on a given account, then you are eligible for that welcome bonus again if you were to apply for or switch to the card once again. Now, when it comes to the specific wording of TD's 12-month rule, there's always a bit of confusion around what is meant by a given card account, because the terms and conditions say that you won't be eligible for the bonus if you've opened a card account in the past 12 months. So it's only natural to wonder, does that mean this specific TD card or any TD account at all? The good thing is, in those very same terms and conditions, account is defined as the very card itself. So if you're looking at the TD Aeroplan Visa Infinite, account is defined as the TD Aeroplan Visa Infinite. So yes, indeed, if you're interested in multiple TD products, you can go for them simultaneously. Let's say the core and premium Aeroplan cards, or you wanted to get in on the action on the TD First Class Travel Visa Infinite as well. As long as you're not going for the same card within a 12 month period, you're good to go. Before we jump off from TD, I should clarify one thing about the Aeroplan card specifically that is relating to the Buddy Pass as part of the sign up offer. With the Buddy Pass, you can only get one of them from any credit card within the same tier, even if you go for different Aeroplan cards from different issuers. So if you're going for a TD Aeroplan Visa Infinite and a CIBC Aeroplan Visa Infinite, those are both in the core Aeroplan tier. You only get one Buddy Pass within a 12 month period from these cards. If you do want more multiple buddy passes from these core cards. You have to space out your applications by at least 12 months, even if it's across different issuers. Moving on to the next issuer then, let's talk about RBC, who has a relatively little known but fairly well-enforced 190 rule, which means that RBC will only approve you for one new credit card application within a rolling 90-day period. You can submit an application for one RBC product, but if you were to apply for another one within that 90 day period, that will typically get declined because it has been less than 90 days since your last one. You should wait at least 90 days. Typically, as soon as it hits 91 days, you're good to go to get approved for another RBC card as long as your credit fundamentals remain strong. The RBC 190 rule is something to keep in mind right now, especially because RBC is offering record high welcome bonuses on a huge range of their cards from the Avion Visa Infinite to the Avion Visa Platinum and Avion Visa Infinite Privilege, as well as the business version of the card and the British Airways Visa Infinite. Look out for a video coming soon about the best offers in fall of 2021, in which these RBC offers are sure to play a part. But if you have your eye on one of these very strong RBC offers, then the 190 rule is definitely something to keep in mind. Go for the one that you're gonna prioritize the most, and then at least 91 days later, go for any of the other cards that interest you. One thing to keep in mind about the 190 rule with RBC is that it only applies to new credit card applications and not to product switches from an existing card to a new RBC product. That's potentially one way to get around the 190 rule if you have your eye on an RBC card that you would like. You have an existing RBC account and you're still within that 90 day period since a new application, you can do a product switch and you'll be eligible for that new card along with the welcome bonus. Now, among the big five banks, TD's 12 month rule and RBC's 190 rule are probably the most significant rules that you need to know. The other big five banks, kind of have the rules, but they're not always enforced, 
so it's hard to tell whether or not you should pay attention to them. Take, for example, Scotiabank, who does technically have a two-year rule in the terms and conditions that says that if you've had any Scotiabank account of any type within the past two years, then you're not actually eligible for a bonus on a new Scotiabank credit card. But there have been many instances of somebody who applied for a Scotiabank credit card, used it briefly, decided not to renew it for the second year, but then got enticed to apply for the card again with a record high welcome bonus, as we're seeing right now, for example, on the Scotiabank Gold American Express with 50,000 Scotia rewards points up for grabs and getting that bonus again within that two year period, even though the terms and conditions say you're not supposed to get it. Keep in mind that when the T's and C's do say stuff like that, then you do run the risk of not actually getting the bonus if you were to submit an application and therefore wasting the credit hit when you do so because you're not technically entitled to the welcome bonus. But there's also a fair chance that you do get the bonus if you decide to go for it. Now, when it comes to CIBC, there aren't really any such rules that you need to be aware of. As you apply for the CIBC cards that you're interested in, as long as your credit history is strong, on your Equifax side, which is the credit bureau that CIBC pulls from, you can generally get approved. And that's about all the big five banks that there are in Canada. Oh wait, I guess there's also BMO if you're interested in their cards. Again, no real rules to speak of. So let's move on now from the big five banks and we'll talk about the other major issuers in Canada, starting with American Express. What are the rules you need to know when it comes to applying for American Express cards? First thing you gotta know, technically, American Express has the once in a lifetime rule on the welcome bonus on all of their cards. So if you've gotten the welcome bonus once before, you technically aren't eligible for another welcome bonus if you were to apply again. Now there's always a bit of confusion around this because it wasn't always like this before. In the past, there was no once in a lifetime rule with American Express. And then there was a period when there was a once in a lifetime rule in the terms and conditions, but it appeared to be very rarely enforced. People would still apply for the cards and seem to get the bonuses again. However, that's becoming increasingly less so these days because it does seem that American Express is taking stricter action in terms of actually enforcing the rule. Some people still have been getting the bonus even if they've held the card before, even to this day. However, it is more and more of a gamble these days if you wanna go for it and it's never an easy feeling to go for a car that has $4.99 or $6.99 annual fee and not be certain whether you're gonna get the bonus or not. Now, besides this on again, off again, once in a lifetime rule, the only other rule that you need to know about when it comes to American Express cards is an informal 90 day rule between applying for the business platinum card and the business gold card. These two small business cards are part of the same business card family. And so if you were to apply for them within a 90 day period, they tend to get treated as duplicates and therefore the second one tends to get declined. If you just leave a 90 day gap between these two cards, you should be able to get approved for both successfully. Take note that this only applies to the business platinum and the business gold. Other business cards like the business edge card are not subject to the 90 day rule. You can apply for those within 90 days of getting one of these two business cards. After American Express, let's talk about MBNA who has perhaps the most well-known rule in all of Canada. The 5-6 rule, of course, you've all heard of it. This is the rule that MBNA generally won't approve you for a new credit card if you've had five or more inquiries on your TransUnion credit file over the past six months. The name takes inspiration from the 524 rule down in the States, but of course, it's a little bit more lenient in that it's only five credit inquiries in the past six months rather than 24. You'd have to be pursuing credit cards at a fairly significant pace if you're above 5-6, but if that's the case, then MBNA will generally decline you if let's say you're going for a new Alaska Airlines MasterCard application. However, all is not lost if that happens, because if you're familiar with MBNA, then you know that you're able to split off your credit limits from an existing MBNA card to get approved for a new card, even if you get declined in the first place. If you do get that decline letter, then call up MBNA, ask for a reconsideration, and then as long as you have an existing MBNA card, you can ask the credit agent to split off the credit limit and thereby approve you for the new card because you're not seeking additional credits that MBNA is unwilling to extend you. Instead, you're happy to keep the same credit limits that you have with MBNA, but just split it off to get this new account and thereby the welcome bonus. And last but not least, among the major credit card issuers in Canada, we have HSBC, who also has a 12 month rule of their own. This 12 month rule is slightly different from TD's version. In this case, you can't have held 
an HSBC World Elite MasterCard, an HSBC Premier World Elite MasterCard, or an HSBC Jade World Elite MasterCard if you want to be eligible for the welcome bonus on a new HSBC credit card application within the past 12 months. So whereas TD's credit card rules specifies that you can't have opened an account of the same card within the past 12 months, HSBC's 12 month rule specifies that you can't have held mm -hmm. an account within the past 12 months. So if you had canceled a previous account, it has to be a 12 month gap since you last held it before you're eligible for the bonus again. Personally, I think the HSBC World Elite MasterCard is a very strong product with a very compelling use case for keeping the card year after year because the $149 annual fee is reduced by a $100 travel enhancement credit to make it a net $50 fee in exchange for 1.5% return on all spending, 3% return on travel, 31 day travel insurance, and a very strong MasterCard option as a backup to your American Express cards. Having said that, some users might not see the value in keeping the card into year two, but the HSBC World Elite MasterCard does offer very regular 100,000 point welcome bonuses. So that's something to keep in mind if you previously held the card and you might be interested in picking it up again. You do have to wait that 12 month eligibility period before you last held it in order to qualify for the bonus again. And with that, we've wrapped up our discussion on the major credit card application rules that you need to know if you're all about maximizing your credit cards here in Canada. Each issuer has slightly different rules. Some are more strict than others, and some are more strictly enforced than others as well. And here on this channel, we're all about keeping you up to date as to what these rules are and how they might change over time. So look out for future videos if there's any changes to let you know about. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe to the Prince of Travel YouTube channel. Just click the subscribe button below the video. And let me know in the comments below which of these rules have you encountered before, which rules are you going to be paying attention to as you apply for credit cards over the next few months. Let me know and I'll see you in the next video. So let's move on banks. Move on banks? What the hell? One of the most co <coughs> oh gosh. Ah. Good lord.